All right, did you know that getting a knee replacement these days doesn't mean a long hospital stay? And that there are other safer alterna alternatives to heavy narcotics. Yes, there have been some major improvements to these types of replacement surgeries over the last few years. Melissa Cole visited Starling Physicians in New Britain to learn more. Walking and especially going up and down stairs are two things Celine Kisser of Bristol couldn't easily do just a month ago. I was having a lot of pain in my uh, left knee and I actually had a bump that was coming out on the side which they thought was arthritis but I guess it was the knee, the actual knee bending. So she made an appointment with Dr. Robert Belniak, an orthopedic surgeon with Starling Physicians. I had um, come to Dr. Belniak and they had taken some MRIs and CAT scans and realized that it was bone on bone and needed to be replaced. Celine was nervous about the surgery and needing to take prescription pain medication. I'm a Tylenol girl. That's all I've ever taken. You know, I stub a toe, I take a Tylenol. With the painkillers, I was very nervous about those because you hear about, you know, how addicting they are. Americans take more narcotics than anybody in the world. I was just reading that in 2009, Americans consumed 80% of the world's hydrocodone and 99% of the world's oxycodone, and that was nine years ago. In order to help combat this opioid epidemic, Dr. Belniak offers alternative pain relief methods. We try to have a good conversation with our patients beforehand to set the expectations that they're going to have some opioid pain medication if they need it for a short time after surgery but the expectation with my patients is that they're going to be either not using opioids long term or only using it for a few days while their pain is very acute and then substituting other medications. Medications like anti-inflammatories, Tylenol, muscle relaxers, and a number of others are used to help prevent people from getting into a long-term pattern of narcotic abuse. Took them as minimal as possible. You know, I'd take one at night, maybe at bedtime, if I needed it. Otherwise, I wasn't taking them at all. Another thing Celine was nervous about, having a long hospital stay. You know, you hear in the past how you're in the hospital for a couple weeks, you're in physical therapy for a couple weeks. And when they were sending me home, I was like, are you, you're sending me home? And oh yeah, they have your physical therapist come to you. That's right, knee replacement surgery can be an outpatient procedure. No, I actually went in at five in the morning and I was home by four in the afternoon. I, they had me walking out of the hospital that afternoon. Amazing. Yeah, I walked out. It's interesting because the implants themselves really are very similar to what we used 25 years ago, but now a lot of people are surprised to know that we can do knee replacement, shoulder replacement, hip replacement without patients even coming into the hospital at all. A lot of times it can be done with a very short hospital stay or even as an ambulatory patient with no hospitalization at all. Dr. Belniak says one of the reasons is because anesthesia techniques have improved. The patient is allowed to drink, for example, a low calorie Gatorade before a surgery. Uh, so they come into the procedure more hydrated and their recovery is uh, accentuated because they don't get the nausea and the vomiting and reactions to the anesthetic drugs that they would have gotten in a situation where they came in less hydrated. Celine is very pleased with how her knee is healing and happy to be doing the things she loves again. I walk on it every day. I, you know, I'm, I don't use my cane at home or, you know, I'm always up and about and running around and walking through stores and I don't even use the little carts anymore. You don't have to avoid a procedure that can help you with your pain because you're afraid of taking too much pain medication. And this is sort of the wave of the future, you think? It's the wave of the present. It's, it's here now. We've been doing it for almost two years, and I think it's going to get more frequent as time goes on. Incredible. Yeah, wow. really good news. For more information about this kind of surgery, you can head to starlingphysicians.com. Mm -hmm.